Today we'll be working on this shape. Here's our isometric view for reference. We've got our multi view with our front, our top, and our side. And for Inventor, when we start a drawing, we go to New. And as always, we'll be in standard.ipt. And OK. Once the grid paper loads up, you should see that you'll be looking at the front view. Okay, so up here at the top right, at this view cube guy, it says you're looking at the front. So, it probably makes sense if we start out on the front. Now I'd like to start out at this bottom rectangle. If we look at our dimensions, we can see that it's four inches wide. And since we're just looking at the bottom part, not the height of the entire thing, the bottom part of this front view is just going to be one inch tall. So it's going to be four inches wide, one inch tall. In Inventor, if you make a rectangle, I like to start at the origin and make a rectangle. It doesn't matter how big it is right now, because then we're going to go to dimension. And we're going to dimension this line to be four inches long. We're going to dimension this line to be one inch long. So your rectangle should look something like that. When you're done with the sketch, make sure you finish the sketch. And this rectangle here should look an awful lot like this rectangle here. It's at the same angle. It's ready to go. So now we've got to figure out how to go from the front and extrude it all the way to the back to make that a solid. And if we look at the top view, that's going to tell us from the front to the back, it's 8 inches. So back to Inventor, we'll go to Extrude. eight inches. So your shape will look like this. So right now you've got the base, but we still have to add this square part of the back that goes up, and we still have to cut away this square hole in the middle. So we're going to do the square first. If we look over at the top view, we've got eight inches is the whole length of this part. Four inches is this change. So we know that four is half of eight. So right in the middle, there's this change from high to low. We can use a pretty quick trick. We'll create a sketch, put it on the top. And I'm going to hit top on the little view cube here so we can look right at the top. A little trick here, if we want to make our square, we'll go to the rectangle tool. I want to start at a top corner. I'm going to click once. And then as it follows me, if I'm looking for exactly half, I just have to move along until it turns to a green dot. I know that's the midpoint. That's exactly halfway. And actually, the dimensions show me 4 inches wide, 4 inches tall. So I'll click. I'm done with all I need here. I'm going to hit finish sketch. I can go back to home view. And I'm going to extrude this square up how far? Check the plan. 
We are at one. We've got to get to two. So we've got to go up one more inch. So I'll extrude one. Hit OK. 